Hello and welcome guys. How are you all doing? Welcome to another Lix live stream. Today we are going to dive into some Dorian uh, licks and uh, specifically Dorian licks with a bit of blues in them. So you can totally use them in a blues scenario uh, or you can go bluesy in a Dorian kind of scenario. So uh, the tab for these licks uh, was requested on Patreon. That's where all of my tabs go. So uh, the licks are actually taken from a whole solo. Uh, and you can watch the solo and you can uh, practice uh, the licks on the jam track that this solo was played on the jam track is linked below so is the uh, direct link for the full tab so i'm gonna just uh, jam a little bit but i will weave these licks into um the jam so that you can you know uh, see how how you can kind of play around with them and then uh, i'll break the licks down for you so you guys will walk away with uh with some fun licks hopefully that you can uh, have some fun with here we go Thank you. 
right, so <clears throat> just having a bit of fun there, guys. So you all know that I absolutely love uh, Dorian mode and, the, you know, the sound and the sort of vibe and uh, everything. It kind of makes you happy, makes me happy anyway. So, uh, so there we go, guys. Um, yeah, three different licks right there uh, taken from this uh, solo, like I said, that is linked um, below. Now, these are just snippets. They're pretty long phrases. So I've picked out like, you know, little parts of phrases that you can take away and, uh, and have fun with. So um, let's do the first one. So the first one goes. So it really focuses around the keynote of Dorian mode which is the natural six. So obviously we're in G, so it's G Dorian. Uh, so I'm playing a whole lot of G minor pentatonic. Okay, now G Dorian goes. There's your major six. Uh, now, so I'm playing a lot of that major six, which is the E natural, um, really painting the, the Dorian kind of color there. And um, yeah, let's let's do the lick. So in terms of uh, where it falls in the bar, uh, it falls like this. Um, we're gonna play just the very last part. So three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, that's where it falls in the bar. Um, so basically starting at the very end of one bar and then uh, at the, the, uh, the bluesy part right there is at the very uh, top of the bar. So. Okay, so uh, I'm using my first finger on the fifth fret of the D string right there, the G note. I'm using my little finger on the eighth fret of the D string. Then I'm going up there, fifth fret of the G string. Okay, and then, now I'm gonna hammer on, and this is the blues scale, so it's not just Dorian. I'm actually doing a little blues scale run right there. Okay, so hammering on from five to six to seven with your, well, one, two, three in terms of fingers. And then I'm pulling off again to six and to five. So that's something to practice just um, on its own right there. Like that. Quickly check the tab actually uh, for uh, pull offs and stuff. Yeah, that's okay. So um, it goes it, after that, we pull off from eight to five on the D string. is a little bit of a blues lick that you can have some fun with. Okay. And now we're gonna go um, back up to the fifth fret of the G string. And then, so up there and then again pull off from eight to five on the D string. So. And uh, yeah, you wanna keep the first finger kind of ready to, you know, uh, to both fret the D string and the G string so you can sort of do a little bit of barring there. Okay. Right there, 
again the E natural, just that specific Dorian kind of sound, the, the, the very note that goes Dorian, okay? <laughs> like that so uh, we got eight five on the D string then seven on the A string and then you got with your second finger you got six on the um, uh, low E string okay We just need that very last um, part, which is like a tritone thing, you know, like the devil's interval uh, kind of thing, but in a funky kind of twist. Um, so here, you know, we land on that, um, that, like I said, uh, the sixth fret with the second finger on the, the low E string, and then we're going to use the third finger again on the E, on the seventh fret of the A string, and then I'm using my little finger to play the eighth note, uh, sorry, the eighth fret of the D string. And then I'm also playing the ninth fret of the uh, G string with my little finger. So, you, you know, you can make those a little bit of a staccato kind of vibe. So, you know, playing each note like that. Just for, uh, you know, make, just to make the, the phrasing more interesting. So, number one and uh, let's get even bluesier uh, this one is just a quick quick little lick uh, lick number two goes like this so So it's literally just, it's just got a nice flow to it, uh, I feel anyway. Uh, and then it obviously depends where you go afterwards, you know, you can go in all sorts of ways. You know, you can continue from that riff in any direction that you like, obviously. Uh, but um, I'm gonna teach you just the, you know, the, 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 the chunk of this tree. So, and then you can, you know, add the rest of the, the tree and the, the, the leaves and the, the branches. So, uh, I'm gonna use this fingering here. You can use this as well. Uh, I prefer this one, it just makes you makes it for a really strong kind of a sound. So um, I'm using my second finger on the uh, fifth fret of the G string. 
and I'm barring with my first finger uh, across the top three strings there uh, on the third fret. Okay, and then I'm playing these two notes at the same time. The that C note there on the fifth fret of the G string and the top G there on the first uh, string, um, third fret. And crucially, I'm using some hybrid picking right here. So I'm um, picking the G string with, the, with my pick and then I'm using my um, long one here to uh, pick the top E string. So if you're new to uh, hybrid picking, that might take a, a little moment to, uh, to get used to. Uh, if you're already used to that, you're off and running. Okay? So, that's your first um, part. Now after this, we're going to hammer on the third finger on the G string to the uh, sixth fret. And then we're going to immediately pull off again to the fifth fret. And then pull off to the third fret where that first finger is already there, ready and waiting. while the G string the, the, the G note there on the uh, the third fret is ringing the whole time okay okay so that's something to practice so uh, time wise um, you can start it one two So you're starting it um, basically um, just before the three in a bar, or just before the one, depending on you know where you want to place it. You can place it wherever you like, obviously. Uh, but right now we're gonna place it like one, two, three, bar. One, two. Okay, so um, after the first part, we got pull off. Um, the third finger to the first finger on the fifth uh, fret, uh, pulling off to the third fret on the D string. Okay. So that in itself might take a little moment to get like that. We got this to end it. So third um, fret on the G string with your first finger. You got third finger on the fifth uh, fret of the D string, pulling off to the third fret, and then you land on the fifth fret of the A string with your um, third finger right there. Okay, so. So just weaving in and out of it right there. Uh, that is our second lick. Hope you have fun with that one, guys. Let us uh, do the third lick. So third lick is a little more jazzy. It uses like 
uh, stacks of fourths. Um, these ones are fourths. So I have a Wednesday warm up um, that deals with fourths. Um, look that one up. There's a, a playlist for uh, my Wednesday warm ups. Uh, if you hit that one, uh, it's linked below. You can find uh, actually a few uh, warm ups that deal with fourths, uh, but there's one that very specifically uh, deals with stacks of fourths. So you can look up stacks of fourths Wednesday warm up. Uh, if you like, or you can scroll down the list, uh, the playlist of Wednesday warm-ups and find uh, the one I'm talking about. Um, there's a there's there's a few uh, fourths um, based warm-ups. I absolutely love the sound of fourths. It's, uh, it's a, a lovely sound, I think. A very kind of hip, jazzy um, situation. So uh, that is the world that I'm hinting at right here in this one. <laughs> Okay, so this is a pretty long phrase and uh, crucially it's all about it's about the the rhythms and the um articulation you know the 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 rhythmic contour that's what makes this kind of thing work uh, or makes it in my mind you know something that uh i find like st stimulating or, or fun to play and fun to listen to uh when, when you're like <laughs> really playing with the upbeats and and sort of um, juggling the um, the the rhythms around a little bit I'll try and play it for you start straight on the one <laughs> for you guys so so it continues into this long phrase uh, but we're gonna, just gonna do uh, this part now if you want to see the whole soul obviously uh, uh, you can just click the link to the to the, to the jam track uh, below so um, um, okay so First of all, we got this little phrase. Again, you know, really painting the Dorian kind of color right there with the natural six, the E. So um, I'm using my third finger on the sixth fret of the B string, and then going to the second um, finger on the fifth fret on the B string. And then I'm uh, barring with my first finger um, for the fifth fret of the G string and the D string. Next up we got, and I'm using single fingers, I mean you could bar this, but I'm just using single fingers just in order to really make every note stand out, like that. So I'm using the third finger on the third fret of the B string, second finger on the G string, first finger on the D string. Okay. We got a, a little bit of a naughty note because uh, we slide into slide into that C note there uh, um, by way of the, the B, which obviously totally doesn't belong in Dorian, but obviously you can play any note in any scale uh, always, you know, if you play it with, uh, with enough conviction and, and if you, uh, you know, like in this case, you're sliding into a note that does fit. Uh, so just adding a little bit of a uh, jazz there. So I'm sliding from um, four to five on the G string with my third finger. And uh, now I'm going to use, uh, again, uh, a finger for each note. So there's the third finger on the fifth fret of the G string, second finger on the fifth fret of the D string, first finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And I'm going to take that same formation and do it on the third fret. 
that. Okay? So. So this is the one. So. Uh, So I'm kind of emphasizing the uh, one E and uh, two E and uh. yeah, uh, it's basically the uh, the second sixteenth uh, note of each beat there. Yeah, so they're they're like sixteenth notes, uh, and uh, and the the second one is like emphasized very much. So. Okay, let's uh, continue. So after this, we got uh, playing a, basically playing around with the the sound of a C chord right there. Uh, so I land on the C, and then I'm sliding up to the major third of C again, which is the the, the, the Dorian note, the E. So but I'm gonna slide up to it and add a little bit of jazziness here again. Here from the sec first to the second fret with my first finger on the D string. And then second finger on the third fret, fourth finger on the fifth fret, and then again that slide right there. So like that. So kind of continuing with that uh, uh, that accentuation of the second. 16th um, note of the beat right there. So, um, and then we got this uh, simple phrase, just going down the scale. So five, three, one uh, on the A string, little finger, second finger, first finger. So, uh, gonna go three two um, so third fret with the third finger and then second finger on the um, third fret as well but on the low E string so and then we're gonna bar with the first finger on the first um, fret of the A string and first fret of the low E string so okay so low E string there it is guys and then like I said that the the, uh, the the run actually continues after that you can hear the rest of the run if you like if you click the click the solo and and, and go to the jam track and uh, and you can see where it goes from there you know this was just an improvised thing obviously just recorded um, before I was on tour like you know before a show uh, I, I, I um, like to record these things you know and um, and so it's it's all improvised, obviously, but I'm trying to dissect it so that uh, so that you know um, uh, that these licks can sort of you know go and 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 uh, you guys can have fun with them uh, as isolated things. And like I always say, you know, like, I mean, I've obviously been getting like these requests for tabs throughout so many years, and and this is the reason that I've started putting them all out on on the Patreon page. And um, like I always say, and I've said it many times before, but you know run away with them, make them your own by really practicing, uh, you know, really uh, t twisting them and make making them your own by, you know, um, like just changing them in, in any way that you like and, and trying them out on as many different contexts as you possibly can. So try them out on this track, but then try, you know, a bunch of other tracks in G Dorian. I've got a, a ton of different G Dorian tracks and also then try A Dorian. B door and try them out in different keys. Sometimes just the fact that you go to a different key makes you play a, a, a lick in a very different way, and uh, it can be really cool. So uh, you know, make sure you experiment with these things, uh, or with indeed any lick that you learn from anybody. Uh, that's where they start to become like your language, and 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 start to become so much more uh, interesting and uh, and kind of foundation building. 
So, uh, so here we go, guys. <laughs> That is the lick, I'll play it for you. guys that is it i hope that you have loads of fun with these licks uh, i've got a new uh, track coming out tomorrow and uh, it's got a guest um a special guest on it doing the intro solo so i hope uh, that you guys will enjoy uh, that great um great um guitarist and producer um you will learn more tomorrow Appreciate uh, you guys' support very much. Uh, like I said, you know, if you want the tab for this and all of the other tabs, obviously, um, hit me up on Patreon. I appreciate the support very much on there. It makes all of the difference right now. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well out there. Stay safe, guys. And, um, yeah, I will see you uh, next week for another Licks live stream. In the meantime, I really do hope that you enjoy these ones. And uh, that's it, guys. Have a great weekend. See you soon.